I'm Fox and this is your detailed guide to setting up AlgoKit on Mac OS. This will configure your workstation for Web3 development and bootstrap your first app on the Algorand blockchain. AlgoKit is the Algorand smart contract dev tool, combining Web3 infrastructure, toolchain, and project templates within a fully configured VS Code IDE to bootstrap your dApp. AlgoKit contains an integrated block explorer for the locally running Algorand network, a wallet manager with funded accounts, and tools to deploy and interact with your dApp throughout the development lifecycle. Let's get started with AlgoKit on macOS. I'm using a fully up-to-date version of macOS and I recommend you do the same. Click the Apple button, then About This Mac. Notice I'm using macOS 11 Big Sur, which is the oldest supported version for Algorand development. If you have a newer macOS, you are good to go using either Intel processors or Apple Silicon. AlgoKit on macOS requires the following software packages are properly configured prior to installation. Git, Docker Desktop, Python, and Pipex. VS Code and the Chrome browser are highly recommended as they combine to act as your window into Web3. On a Mac, we recommend using Brew as the package manager for installing the prerequisites for AlgoKit. Begin by browsing to the site brew.sh. Notice the install script command is displayed. Review and click to copy. Now press command spacebar to bring up spotlight search or use the launch pad and search for terminal. From the command prompt, press command P to paste the brew install script from their website. Running the command will look like this. Next we recommend installing Google Chrome and setting it as your default browser. Issue the command brew install dash dash cask google dash chrome. Launch the Chrome browser for the first time and set it as your default browser. Next we recommend installing the VS Code IDE. Open a new terminal session and issue the command brew install dash dash cask visual dash studio dash code. The installer automatically adds VS Code to your path. To launch it, just type code dot. For the remaining prerequisite installations, you may use the integrated terminal within VS Code. Select Terminal from the menu bar, then New Terminal. Next, install Docker Desktop. Issue the command brew install dash dash cask docker. Once the installer completes, launch Docker for the first time using Spotlight Search for Docker. This will prompt you to review and agree to the license agreement, then open to the Docker Desktop dashboard. You may minimize Docker for now, but it must be running for AlgoKit to fully function. The brew install script for AlgoKit takes care of all remaining prerequisites on macOS. Simply issue the command brew install algorand foundation slash tap slash AlgoKit. When the installer completes, AlgoKit is ready to go. Building with AlgoKit has you initialize a DAP template from the library, bootstrap your toolchain, and compile the source code. Then start the Algorand infrastructure configure your development wallet, and deploy the smart contract. Finally, you'll be able to interact with your dApp using the ABI Studio. From a new terminal window, issue the command AlgoKit init. A handful of prompts guide you through selecting a template and bootstrapping the project. Here, I name my project and select the default values for the remaining prompts. The development toolchain is installed and configured within a virtual environment, so your project code remains isolated from everything else on your workstation. You are prompted to change directory to your project folder, then issue the command code dot. The first time you launch VS Code for your new project, AlgoKit asks you to confirm the installation of the recommended extensions. Select Install, then wait for each to complete. You may close these welcome screens, then click the code icon in the upper left nav pane, and let's see how the code is organized. Expand the Smart Contracts folder, then open the hello world.py file. Here is the template code for a simple application that expects a user to provide a string value and the smart contract will always return the string value hello concatenated with the past value. Compile the code as is by clicking the run and debug icon on the left nav pane, then locate the green arrow at the top and click to compile. AlgoKit compiles this high-level language source code and outputs to two low-level language programs plus two JSON objects. These are found within the Artifacts subdirectory. You will use these files when deploying your dApp just after we get the Algorand infrastructure up and running. Issue the command algokit localnet start. 
This starts a local Algorand development blockchain where your DAP will reside. It normally takes less than one minute to start this local network. Now use the integrated block explorer to view more details about this network. Issue the command algokit localnet explore. Your web browser opens the explorer site automatically configured to the algokit localnet. Notice there are not yet any blocks nor transactions on this newly created network, so let's get to deploying your DAP. Recall that a Web3 user interface requires the use of a wallet to interact with a DAP. Along the left nav pane, click Dev Wallets. Here, click Create Wallet to generate a new, unfunded Algorand account. Use the Dispense button to add 10 test algo to this account. Now click the Connect Wallet button in the lower left corner. Select the Dev Wallet from the list of providers. Notice the wallet icon displays the address of the account you just dispensed funds to. Navigating back to the Explorer, you'll find the corresponding block and payment transactions displayed. Now click the ABI Studio button. This tool consumes the artifacts created during the compile process earlier. Click the Import ABI button. Switch to the File tab, then click the Upload File button. Navigate to your Project folder, descend through Smart Contracts folder into Artifacts, and locate the contract.json file. This file contains the methods exposed by the Smart Contract and are rendered as a simple user interface for testing. Notice the single method, Hello. Before you may interact with your method, you must install your Smart Contract program to the blockchain. Locate the Create App button, Click the drop-down and select Bear. The Create Application modal requests the storage schema values which we will set to zero. Then upload both the Approval Program and the Clear Program from the Artifacts folder of the project. Scroll to the bottom and click Create. The application is created successfully. Here, the app ID was assigned Index2. Finally, click the Execute button from the Hello method. This method requires the user provide a string value for the name field. Click Execute and observe the response. Hello Algodev, you executed your first smart contract on Algorand using AlgoKit. Nice work! We have many more videos to expand on what this contract does and how you can build more complex logic.